Today is an outdoor video and I want to talk to you a little bit about gardening and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of mushrooms when they crop up in your garden. Now in our front garden we have flowers, herbs, and this is where I replant the um, uh, vegetables, onions and celery and stuff that I regrow from store-bought just so that I can come out easily and snip it off and put it in my cooking. I also have a very large outdoor back garden and we are in a very moist environment here in western Pennsylvania. We get a lot of rain and mushrooms can be a real big problem and basically what they are is a fungus that's growing and so I want to show you how to get rid of those naturally cheaply without having to buy an expensive um, fungicide and especially in areas where you grow food you don't want to put that stuff in your garden and so I want to show you how I did it and I did it very easily now we just started a new bed where we put um, oh, some flowers some flower bulbs different kinds and um, sorry I'm, I'm looking at it trying to remember what's in there there's some lavender and some rosemary and basically this is outside my bedroom window and so my husband wanted to make this an area where um, it would repel mosquitoes because it's outside my bedroom window and I like to sleep with the window open and so I don't want um, mosquitoes finding their way in around the screen as they tend to do so this was a very important bed and uh, let me show you what happened see if I can turn this around so that you can see so this is just full of mushrooms and if you notice they are brown and that's because I've been killing them and there's an area where I ran out of my solution and so these didn't get killed and so I've come out today to uh, reapply the mixture and get those that weren't killed and let's see all it is you see my watering can here it's just a watering can full of water and baking soda and that's it just baking soda and I put probably about a quarter cup of it in and I just um, pour it over the top and it kills those and then you can just come through and break them up and then you don't have to worry about them coming back so I thought this was something very useful for people like me who want to grow their own food and you know herbs fall right into food because you know me I put a lot of spices and and herbs let's say that right my husband will shoot me in my cooking and I love 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 lavender tea so lavender is very important to me it's one of the scents that I love and I love the lavender tea and I use it quite a bit in things so you can see these through here and I'm just going over it again just because I've got a little bit of this solution still in and the baking soda and water just kills those and it really took um, two days and I could see the difference I could see them starting to wither and um, those brown ones I showed you in the beginning that solution's been on there about four days now and that's how I could see areas that I missed and so I'm going back over them so I hope you find this useful and if you do be sure and subscribe and um, tick that little bell so you get notified of new videos have a good day guys